Hi, my name is Nick Harishis. I'm a senior occupational hygienist with Bureau of Veritas Australia. Bureau of Veritas Australia is part of the global Bureau of Veritas group and is a leader in testing, inspection and certification services. My area in Bureau of Veritas specialises in services to assist clients to meet legislative requirements, achieve operational improvement and cost reduction, improve workplace safety and minimise environmental impact, and also to demonstrate social responsibility. So an asbestos survey is conducted in order to identify the location of the asbestos containing materials in all buildings, their condition and priority classification. It, it is done to identify the risk to the building occupants. All states and territories have legislative requirements to undertake an asbestos survey in the workplace. In addition, all states and territories have legislative requirements to undertake an asbestos survey review or revision in the workplace prior to any demolition or refurbishment works. It's called a pre-demolition asbestos survey and it's done so to get a more detailed survey of the area to be disturbed. And this survey identifies the risks to the building workers, to the construction workers. When we do a risk assessment, we consider the following. The type of the asbestos containing material, the location of the asbestos containing material, its friability, its condition, the potential for future disturbance, and the asbestos content. Control options. When we identify asbestos containing materials in a building, what are the options? Well, you can remove the material, you can enclose it, or you can seal it. Or, if it's in very good condition and unlikely to be disturbed, you, don't, you do nothing. There's no requirement to remove asbestos unless it's in very poor condition and it's a risk. Asbestos removal is governed by various regulations. By the model work health and safety regulations in all states and territories, except of course WA and Victoria, and also the model work health and safety code of practice, how to manage and control asbestos in the workplace, issued by Safe Work Australia in 2011. In Victoria, it's governed by the Victorian Occupational Health and Safety Regulations of 2007 and the Compliance Code Removing Asbestos in Workplaces. In Western Australia, it's governed by the Occupational Safety and Health Regulations of 1996 and the National Occupational Health and Safety Commission's Code of Practice for the Safe Removal of Asbestos. Always check the current regulations in your state or territory. To remove asbestos, you have to be licensed. A Class A license entitles someone to remove all forms of asbestos, friable and non-friable. With a Class B license, you can only remove non-friable materials. It should be noted that in WA, Class A is referred to as an unrestricted license, uh, while a Class B is a restricted license. There are allowances in the regulations, for example here in Victoria, you are allowed to remove um, up to 10 square metres of non friable material without a license, provided that it takes less than one hour a week and also provided that the person is trained, uses the appropriate PPE and disposes of the asbestos waste according to EPA regulations. Again, please check the current regulations in your state and territory and if in doubt, 
call a professional. Appropriate personal protective equipment. Well, it depends on the type of job. Removing a very small amount of non-friable material like cement sheet or some cement sheet debris, you can use a P2 disposable respirator. Removing friable material within an enclosure, nothing but an airline will suffice. And also use coveralls, safety boots, gloves and eye protection. If there's one message that I'd like you to take away from this training, it is don't risk it, test it. I'm Nick Harissis. I'm a qualified occupational hygienist with Bureau Veritas Australia. Thank you for watching.